most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, Brad, you want to talk about what science says about barefoot, forefoot running. You must know this if you're going to be a runner, I would say. Right. And you this all what? ties in with the, the minimalist. <laughs> Can I pronounce it? Minimalist. Yep. The minimalist shoes or, you know, those, uh, the shoes with the toes, you know, that are made of Vibram. It all revolves around each other. And the science on this, Bob, is... Uh, it's all over the map, isn't it? It kind of is. But, you know, we're just going to discuss it. And we have our favorite... Yeah, well, I mean, both Brad and I converted. Sure. We're, we're converts, aren't <laughs> right. we? Right, yeah, from so. heel strikers to forefoot runners. Uh, but this whole thing, but before we go any farther, Bob. Yeah, wait. if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you're going to want to go to uh, our social media websites and platforms. We got Instagram, official Bob and Brad, Facebook. There you yeah, go. Yeah, we are doing a giveaway uh we're going to probably put this up on Friday. So we're doing a giveaway of the Kubota. Ooh. It's a back support. Uh, we're giving away three of those. So you just got to go to the instructions or the link is there. Sure. And we got it fixed now because it was yeah, kind of broke. Right. Technicalities. So. Anyways, uh, nice memory foam backrest. Yeah. All right. So how did this get started? Four foot or barefoot running. It's been around for centuries. There's... Uh, People have been running barefoot, and in the book that uh, Christopher McDougall wrote in 2009, it came out. Uh, yeah, if you're a runner, uh, you should read this book. It's called Born to Run. It's just really interesting. You took it away. I was just ready to say Born to Run, and he interrupted me. Can you believe that? I, why, Bob? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't help myself. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that book, uh, we've both read the book, and it really, I, I have a friend who read it. He's a complete non-exerciser, and it said, I feel like going starting to run after I read no the book. No kidding. He didn't, but he felt <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's as close as he's going to get. Right. But anyways, it is a good book. It talks it's about kind of running. kind inspiring, and, and uh, that whole, what do you call them, a tribe? Right. Yeah, the, the, in Mexico. In Mexico, mm -hmm. yeah. And they're, they, they're running... Uh, long distances. Long distances until, and, and until they're elderly. Right. right? I mean, that, right. if I remember right, until their 70s yeah. and maybe even 80s. It's uh, over, really, over really rough surfaces, too. Right. They're going I mean, up mountains. Uh, mountains and rocks right. and, and stuff like that. You, so. you runners out there, you know about ultras, the people that run the 100 miles, and some are farther than that. Uh, and they're not running on a flat road. They're, you know, there's one up in, uh, north of Duluth in Minnesota. They're running up and down those hills. Uh, in the north and shore. in extreme temperatures oh, too right i mean, uh, <laughs> I mean in, in mexico so so anyways for the average person if you want to think if you're thinking about becoming a four foot runner and you're not the biggest reason a lot of people do is because uh they feel it's safer you're going to have less injuries right um the science says and i just uh, I've been taking a course on this, uh, and the, the instructors from Stanford, they're, you know, big into research, and he's saying there is no definite science, no complete conclusion uh, that forefoot running is going to reduce injuries. However, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. Right. <laughs> it, it's just not real solid yet. Right. Um, but the, the, over time, it may right. become that way. There was one study done, and it showed that you have 12% uh, less force on the tibia in the femoral joint, the knee joint. Sure. Okay? But on the other hand, uh, it said you had more force into the ankle. Sure. So it's like you give one and you take back from another. Right. Back the force has got to go somewhere. Where is it going? Right. And right. then there's another uh, study and a researcher says it's in the hip joint in the femoral internal rotation. So you got to strengthen the hip to, to get better. And then there's another researcher out of Madison. Uh, he is saying change the cadence. Right. And that's your, how fast your feet are hitting or how rapid your feet right, are hitting right. the ground. Uh, so, so if you really look into it, it can get a little confusing. Uh, but Bob and I, are we're both going to stick with uh, four foot running. Uh, and if you want to find out more science about it, the, the, the place you want to look is uh, under Dr. Irene Davis. Sure. Uh, now, now she's uh, done a lot of studies, been researching this for 20 years. She happens to be a big proponent of forefoot or barefoot running. She's at the Harvard Spalding Institute. And if you go to her website, go Irene Davis, 
barefoot or forefoot running, you'll get a lot of information. She has a protocol on how to change if you're a heel striker to a forefoot runner. Uh, because it, typically it takes one to two years for someone to change. It took me about two years. Uh, when I started doing it... Took it took me about my, five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I didn't think it took me that long, to be honest. Well, but maybe, you might maybe. be faster, but uh, didn't you say you... When I did it, I used to get... Uh, yeah, you, your strain, calf. My calf muscle yeah. would strain easily. Even my hip muscle, my adductors, yeah, it, I it, it starts. It shows you that you're putting the stress on different, you know, I feel like the calf muscles can take it better sure. than the joints can. Mm -hmm. And and that's where I started feeling it more. Um, there was the other book, The Pose Method. Yep. That was another book. That's the one I had read on, on telling you how to become basically a, a four-foot runner. You know, and they're the ones that I mentioned in that book. If you watch a race, if you watch a 5K race. Sure. First, the elite athletes come by, and you listen to the, the sound as, they're, as they're, they're going by, and they're running by, and you hear just lightly taps, tap, 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 right, tap, tap, tap. Right. Then later as you get into the race, where I am, <laughs> then you hear boom, boom, boom. I mean, people are not four foot running, and they're not getting that rapid cadence. Right, right. So, um, and it makes sense, you know, it, it's, to me, at some level, it's like, if you're hitting your heel first, that's going to give a resistant force up through the, the, you know, up through the leg. Well, the whole, yeah, the whole leg, all the way up into the hip. As opposed to if you're hitting your forefoot, and we talked about being leaning forward a little bit. Right. You know, that was one component right. of two. Instead of running back like this, you're leaning forward a little bit more, taking more weight on the forefoot. Right. I mean, so. we could get into a, a long discussion on the gait, running of the gait, where the, the foot lands is in relationship to your center of gravity. Um, but... I know I changed to a four-foot runner specifically to take the stress off my back. Right. Uh, with my spondylosis. And it did work. He it, interrupted it, me again. Well, no, I want to <laughs> verify you that it, it did work. You did. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, I, I'm running now. Uh, I think I'm going to get back to my times of prior to my big flare-up with my back but in But you had stopped, right? Well, you couldn't I, run for a while. I didn't totally stop. I really decreased. I just ran enough to get through a triathlon. So I did most of my training on a bike and swim, and I just got through running by... And by, you'd be hurting, though, right? Well, yeah, it, it wasn't fun. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I've done a lot of core work, and I changed my running style, and uh, I think my back is fused between L4, L5, and the 5S1 with, with that condition. So, But this, when you don't have that Continual, Constant pounding. Right, exactly. But boy, I'm telling you, Bob, it really, it probably took me two years before I could run and, and not every now and then strain my calf. Oh, muscle. sure. Well, um, the other point, Brett, I was going to make, unless you want to interrupt me again, <laughs> is that uh, even with walking, you can think about this a little bit. Sure. I mean, when you walk and you're going heel strike, heel strike, I mean, you can actually pick up your cadence a little bit sure. walking. I've done this on the treadmill yep. and hit more of my forefoot. And, and it's just more comfortable. Do you know what I mean? It's, sure. It's, 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 right. So even with walking, you can lean forward a little more and get, get kind of a faster pace. Right. And, and, so. and Irene Davis, I was reading on her website, she talks about the natural running uh, gait. And she's saying that, you know, the, you, we put these shoes with all this fat cushion right. under the heel so they have this cushion. And, and it's just... It's completely opposite of how we were made to run. And that was the pose method, too. They talked about the same thing. Sure. And that, that uh, like, if you watch animals, um, you know, watch how they run. They're on, basically, their forefoots. Uh, right. They talk about the, the rear foot. Right. And, and, yeah. I don't know, Bob. One thing I, re I remember on the book, they said one of these elite marathon runners, he was running across the bridge that had a high right. handrail and you yeah. couldn't see anything but his head. And if you put and if you put a level across, his yeah. head was going like you, that. You couldn't tell that he was running right. because he wasn't going up and down. His his energy was. I going. read the same yeah. thing. Was that where did you read that? I don't know if it was the Born to Run or if it was the Pose book. I think it was the Pose book. Yeah, that, I, that left such an impression with me too. Yeah. It's like you could watch this guy. He's just going steady across. He's not going up and down. It's just <laughs> so yeah. right now when I'm on the treadmill because it's winter time and I don't like to run the ice. I'll look in the, the window in sure. front and look at my reflection, and I'll try to get my head to stop going <laughs> like this, you know. Uh, but, yeah, there's a, lots of things you can do with your body. But four-foot running or barefoot running, they're basically the same thing. Uh, the minimalist shoes, really thin 
uh, soles so that when you land on your foot, you know, because barefoot running, I thought about maybe I should try barefoot running to toughen up the soles of my feet. And I'm thinking, no, that's a bad idea. You know, one thing I did after I read this book and became a four-foot runner, I I didn't change my shoes as often. I was like, you know, once they started wearing down, I'm like, you know, this is like barefoot running. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I would, I would, I would, yeah. I would extend them longer, right. and I could extend them longer yeah. because uh, my my shoe, my feet were tolerating more. Right. You know. The, so yeah. So you know, it's another benefit of that's right. Running. Save money. A little cheaper. So. <laughs> All oh. right, if, you, you know, if you're a runner out there, give us your opinion. We'd like to hear it. Yeah, exactly so. right. So Just don't get the yoga people mad. That's yeah, it. oh, my God, Bob, were you in trouble? That was my fault. <laughs> I take that one. That's all right. It was fun anyways. All right, take care. for watching.